What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q, back with another video, man. You know what it is. I hate it when Wednesday. Yes, back with another segment, man. So check this out, man. Before we get started, you guys already know, man. Can y'all do me a favor and hit that like button, man? Just smash it, tap it, do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so check this out, man. I got to give you my hate it when Wednesday, man. And I feel really bad, and I don't want people to think that I'm too good for this or too, uh, too good for that. Um, someone hit me up in a DM on Instagram and asked me to do a live with them, right? And I was like excited. I was like, heck yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, when I did the live with uh, Regina and Derek, Fundamental Side Hustle and Regina Michelle, um, I was excited. I know I messed up on some questions. I think Derek asked me a question and I'd say something differently. I don't know. But anyway, very excited. But anyway, this person hit me up in a DM. He said he's free all month of August. And let's do a live. I was like, yeah, for sure. I said it was like on a Friday or so. He might have hit me up. I said, all right, let me get back with you. And let me let, you know, check my schedule, see what day I'm free. Because he said he's free of August. So, I, you know, I got a tight schedule. So anyway, that weekend passed. Actually, it was on a Sunday. I was trying to get back with him. I could not find him in the DM. Cannot find him at all. He's just disappeared. I went through all my DMs and he's gone. And I'm like, I'm thinking like, did this guy think I was trying to ignore him or what? I can't remember who he was. He's a YouTuber, and I do follow him. I remember that, but I cannot think who he was. So if you guys, hey, if you're watching, hit me up, man. Let's do that live. But anyway, man, I hate when that happens. I dropped the ball. I don't want him to think like, oh, you too good for me. You you too good to do a live or blah blah blah. I don't want you to think that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just got away. You know what I'm saying? I hate when that happens, man. It is all right. Look, man. Let's get it going, man. We got some hated wins Wednesday, so let's get look. It's about to go down, man. Look, I'm be itching like Smokey. <laughs> I'm going to cut that one out. Okay, so look, let's get it going, man. Let's see who we got up next. We got reselling on the side with Esme. Esme, God, you know what? Reselling on the side with Esme. I hope I got it right, man. I keep thinking. I don't know. Anyway, she says, I hate it when my husband and I are at a garage sale, and I'm asking how much for an item, and my husband says, why are you buying that? We don't need it. Later, I tell him it's not for us. It's for resale. And he says, oh, I tell myself, duh. All right, yeah, I get it. You know what? Okay, opposite way, I do that with my wife. My wife is just like, I don't know. Sometimes she just want to buy stuff. I'm like, why are you buying that? We don't even need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Why? Hurry for resale. Mine is. She hit me up a couple of times. Why are you buying that? I said, because I resell. Everything I buy is investments. Anyway, I can't be talking too loud because she's upstairs. So look, let's get it on, man. Shout out to Reselling on the Side with Esme. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out her channel. Um, do what you got to do, man. Follow her. Subscribe. You know what it is. Oh, look, by the way, for all the new subscribers jumping on, I appreciate the love and support. Uh, we do a Hated Win Wednesday every single Wednesday, hopefully. Sometimes I might skip a Wednesday. But anyway, it's not a hate channel. It's just something we hated when it happened. So drop your comments below and let me know. And I'm going to read them the very next week. So anyway, let's keep it going, man. Who we got up next? We got my man Flippin' Eric. Check out his YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Do what you got to do. Let's see what he had to say. He says, I love it when I feel okay when something I hate. I like the show. I like the show. <laughs> okay, hold on. I love it when I feel okay. I love it when I feel okay with something I hate. You know what? And that's exactly what it is. It's okay to love to hate. Man, I don't think I said that one right. Anyway, I feel what you said. I know what y'all saying. Y'all heard it. Y'all got to understand it. But I see what he's saying. I just can't explain it right. Anyway, thanks, Flippin' Eric. Thanks for stopping through, man. Anyway, let's keep it going, man. Who do we got next? We got the man. Mr. Golf Club, man. California Thrifter Casey. I think I messed up this Hated Win Wednesday last time. So anyway, let's see what he had to say. He says, I hate, it I hate it Wednesdays when a seller wants to return an item and they already used it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Irritates me when someone does that. I'm like getting heated right now, but. I'm not going to let that get me down. Yeah, I clearly understand what you're saying, man. You get it, and they use it. They want to return it, man. That sucks, man. That's, 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 you know what? That's like when, okay, I just, I'm just going to say a female 
because that's all I've ever seen it on. And I've seen it on a couple of dudes too, man, where they wear the clothes and they got the tag and they're trying to tuck it in and it kind of slipped out. I see the tag because you plan on returning that thing tomorrow. I get you. It happens everywhere. It sucks though, man. It sucks, man. Shout out to Carolina Thrifty Casey, man. If you haven't already, man, make sure you follow him. Check out his channel, man. I call him Mr. Golf Club because he got every golf club in the world as far as I'm concerned, man. He's probably got like 15 shops open already. It is what it is, man. Let's keep it going, though. Let's see who we got next. You know what? I want to give a special shout out to Southern Vintage Picker. Um, finally got in touch with her. She got back with me. I might have missed one of her emails or something, but she told me, check this out. She won the $10 Google gift card. She said she would like to donate this gift card back. So for at the end of the month, we're doing a gift card giveaway. We're going to do my regular 25 and we're going to throw this $10 in for one person. So shout out to Southern Vengeance Picker. If you haven't already, make sure you follow her channel, man. All right, guys, let's keep it going. Let's see who we got next. Who do we got next? Okay, we got my man. Eric C. Production that needs no introduction. You guys already know, a.k.a. Mr. History, man. I got a whole thing for you, bro. Anyway, Eric C. Production, if you haven't already, check out his channel, man. His subscriber count is growing, man. He's doing really good, man. I like the way... Dude, I watch a couple of videos every other day or so, man, and it's just so freaking interesting on what happened and how things came about, how things change hands. Like, I never heard of this store, and it became this store because you know that store, but you didn't know that store. You kind of wonder where it came from. One of those type of things. Anyway, let's see what he had to say. Now, you know Eric be putting it out there. So, give me a minute. I got to rehearse and do his line. All right, let's see what he says. He says, I hate it when we have a yard sale. I wake up 4.30 in the morning, spend about 20 minutes driving the neighborhood, putting up the signs the night before to set up. And my wife says, I don't feel like getting up. Let's not have it. What? Anyway, he said, I decided to have it anyway. And then my wife, who comes out later, looks at the um, looks at how much money we made and says we should have made more. Maybe I didn't price it high enough. I just look at her. I just see. I just look at her and think maybe you should have gotten up and helped. Oh, guess who kept the money? Wife, he kept the money. I guess. Mm hmm. Wasn't me. Thanks again. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Eric C Production, man. Dude, why didn't tell me? Let me know you're having a yard sale. I would have swooped by, you know, bought some stuff, man. Like some of those Star Wars stuff you've been trying to keep, man. You need to let me have it. Just let me have it. Anyway, so check it out, man. If you guys haven't already, follow Eric C Production, man. Man, <laughs> I I see a sitcom reality show with him and his family, man. It's got to be good, dude. It's got to be good. Anyway, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. We have another one. Oh, we have another one from Eric C. Production. Let's see what he has to say. Let's get it going, man. He says, I hate it when someone makes a comment on my videos, trashing my videos, and telling everyone in the comments to not to encourage them to make comments or suggestions. Hmm, okay. Um, I go to his channel and see that his channel is about birds and nature and random stuff. I don't trash his channel, but I make a few suggestions that he should really encourage the smaller YouTubers to make videos. That's a good thing. Yeah, we always encourage people. It's always good to encourage. All right. He proceeds to tell me how I am bland and that he is a Hollywood producer who has written shows, made documentaries, and also has a column in a respectable horse racing blog. I, I like horse racing, but I never read a blog. I don't know. Okay. Eric C. Productions, go ahead and says, I tell him that there are many choices out there that you don't have to be a hater. Okay, true. Don't hate. Just congratulate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know your subscribers know, and I do, that it is hard enough to produce a video that you hope people will like and find interesting. That is true. We all put out videos. You guys might not like my video. You guys give me a thumbs down. It's cool. I understand. Be honest. Don't be a hater. Anyway, he says um, his excuse for the video on his channel. <clears throat> my nine year old um, makes videos and puts in. OK, his excuse for <laughs> I got to read that over his excuse for the videos on his channels. My nine year old makes videos and puts it on this channel. Yet he uses the same YouTube channel to bash other people. Go figure. OK, whoever this guy is. Apparently, he's got issues with his own. Um, as you use the uh, thing, Misery Loves Company. That's what it is. Eric C. Production, man. Ignore that dude. I, you know, sometimes I wish we can just block people on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if there is a way. But you know what, man? 
when the negativity, man, you got to get rid of that negative energy, man. It ain't worth it. Trust me, man. Eric C Production, man. I love your videos, bro. I love everybody's videos because you learn something from it. And that's why I like looking at a lot of people's videos. Look, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm not even bull. Look. This is, this is everybody YouTube channel that I follow, that I go and look at from time to time. I go through a whole list. Here's the backside of it too, okay? So these people are very interesting to me. And I got people in my phone that I look, oh, let me check out their channel because I haven't looked at it in a while. Sometimes I might miss a couple videos, but I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? So I give, you know, I don't, I never hate on nobody. If someone can do a video and if I don't like it, I, I, I keep my comments to myself. That's just bottom line. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to hate on you or anything like that. But I don't have no bad comments for nobody. It's interesting what people sell. I was just watching the five resellers. Amazing sales. I like watching what they sell because it kind of gives me a sense to what to get. And then when they bring out the bolos, I'm like, I got to be looking for that. I take notes. Man, Eric C. Production, ignore that dude. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Let's keep it going, y'all. That's crazy, man. Let's see who we got next. We got the Memphis Mower. Hey, Memphis Moore, thanks for stopping by. Look, guys, if you guys haven't already, check out the Memphis Moore. If you like it, subscribe. You know what it is. All right, I think my voice is getting a little bit too high there. Anyway, he says, I hate it whenever I'm in a rush. The weed eater will run out of string. Seems like when you're in a hurry, <laughs> life wants to joke around. You know what? Um, I don't have a front yard or anything, but back then, when I had a yard, I had to go cut it. I was all excited using a weed eater and that string just kept either breaking or snapping or disappearing on me. I don't know what the hell happened. You know, the take 15 minutes to edge a yard or whatever, do what you got to do. It took me about a couple hours, man. Just frustrated. Just frustrated. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Memphis Moore, man. Thanks for stopping through, man. Appreciate the love. All right. Who we got next? Who we got next? We got Regina Michelle. Check her out, y'all. Regina Michelle, man, she be doing all types of things. She needs to be a model because she be modeling her dresses and everything. So I appreciate that. Hey, Regina, if you guys haven't already, check out her channel. Subscribe if you got to. If you have to, do what you got to do. You know what it is. She says, see what she says. She says, I hate it. Okay. She said, I hate it when a question, when someone asks a question about an item that I've already answered in the description. Oh, my God. Dude, I, it's the same thing with how big is it? What's the size on it? It's right there. If it ain't in the picture, it's in the description. I know sometimes I forget to do that, but I put it in there and I still get the same darn questions, man. I hate when that happens, man, when people just say, hey, man, uh, what size is that? It's right there. Um, is that new or used? I'm like, I put pre-owned. What does that mean? Anyway, man, shout out to Regina Michelle. Thanks for stopping through. Appreciate the love and support. Let's see who we got next. Uh, let me see. We got Save here first. You know who she is. So check her out, man. If you guys haven't already, look at her channel. Make sure you subscribe. Show some support. She be doing some crazy unboxing, man. She be hitting those band stores too. You know what it is. And dude, when she do a like, uh, what's so video? So perfect. So perfect. I'm just going to say it like that. Okay. Anyway, let me see what she had to say. She says, I hate it when I spend 20 minutes recording and unboxing, showing the item showing items only to find out a minute late that I didn't press record. You know what? It happens with a GoPro. I was taking pictures every time I thought I was recording. It sucks. And then you don't have no footage. You just got to show pictures and everything, man. And, and it just sucks because you put in all that work, that time and everything, and then you got to start all over again. I uh, just, I understand. I understand. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, check out our channel, man. Let's keep it going, man. Don't want to make this video too long. Y'all know how that goes. Let's see who do we got next, man. Who do we got next? We got my homeboy, Tony Lifestyle Hustle, a.k.a. Bounce King, doing it big. Let's see what he has to say, man. He says, I hate it when you do a favor for someone, but, but when you need a favor in return, they disappear from you. I know what you mean. I'm not going to say who. I can't say who. Just can't. Don't want a drama. But anyway, you do a favor for somebody, and when you try to get that favor back or just something simple, they don't even want to hear what you got to say. They busy already. I remember this one time I was asking this dude to do me a favor, and I was going to pay him for the favor because I hooked him up a couple of times, and right away he said, I'm going to be busy. I'm like, I never even told you what day. Huh? You don't even know what day. I said a couple of months from now. Oh, I'm busy. How do you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, clear what you, I know what you're saying, man. It's crazy. 
Anyway, if you guys haven't already, follow my man, Tony Lifestyle Hustles, man. Doing big things over there with the big bounce houses, man. That dude is like better than the unemployment because he employs everybody. I'm telling you, go watch his channel. You'll see what I'm saying because he got everybody on there. Anyway, let's see who do we got next. Who do we got next? Oh, we got my girl, Miss Key. Like that. Is it all right? Yeah, Miss Key. Oh, if you haven't already, check her channel while she does the cooking channel. She be making some good food. If she can do a FedEx overnight, I'll be buying all her food. But fortunately, we can't do that. I don't know if she want to do that. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what she had to say. She says, I hate it when people ask for advice and don't even take it. <laughs> you know what? Everybody gets advice. Everybody takes advice. And that type, to me, I feel like she's saying like, okay, I gave you some advice. You didn't take it. You went the other route. You messed up. And I'm like, told you. You know what I'm saying? It's the only thing I can think of. I told you. You know what I'm saying? You should have just took my advice. Anyway, let's keep it going, man. Shout out to Miss Key. Appreciate it for you dropping by. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Check out her channel out. Ah, check her channel out. And let's go from there. Tongue tied. Let's keep it going, y'all. Let's keep it going. Oh, that's it. That's it, man. We're going to end this video, man. This was a rough video, man. Sorry if I stumbled on the words. This just is what it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, you can always go on my channel and look at the comments. It's real simple. Anyway, it's your boy Hustle Q, man. I'm out. Peace. Hey, like, subscribe. What you got to do, man? Peace.